Guys, this is the official taste test, the uh, little chocolate war, chocolate battle that's going on. Uh, first up here is the um, chocolate scorpions, or chocolate, or scorpion chocolates, I should say, from Peppermaster. And it's a company located in Canada. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be telling you about it, trying it, and everything on camera. Uh, but I'm not going to give you too many opinions because I'm jotting them down as notes as well as scoring this as I'm doing it. I'm not going to tell you what the scores are because there will be a separate video announcing the winner, which I'll break it down and explain all of my thoughts in great detail. So first off, here's the presentation you get. Um, it's a red box with a clear top, so you can see the chocolates on the inside. You see there's six individual squares. Now these are uh, basically a jelly-filled chocolate. Okay. Um, these are produced in Canada um, by Brooks Pepper Fire Foods Incorporated, and they are totally um, ready to eat. <laughs> the uh, expiration is good till uh, August 30th, 2014, <laughs> so plenty of time to eat these. Uh, let's see the ingredients. Uh, the ingredients on the chocolate coating is sugar, cocoa mass, cocoa butter, lecithin, lecithin, sorry, and vanilla. Uh, the ingredients on the pepper jelly centers are fair trade certified organic cane sugar, fresh naga peppers, vinegar, citric acid, scorpion peppers, and pectin. So we have nagas and scorpions in here to give us that heat. I'm imagining it's going to be pretty darn hot. So anyway, yes. Uh, also, something else to be noted, there's another language, which they're in Canada. I'm going to take a stab at this and say it's French. I don't know. I seem ignorant, ignorant for guessing. Um, but it is equally written on here as well, like the separate ingredients in uh, which seems to be French. On the front here, like the English is scorpion chocolates and underneath says crazy hot, whereas the other side says chocolat, scorpion, hyper fort. So I'm going to say it's French. I don't really know. <laughs> but anyway, there's the presentation. You do need a, uh, a blade or something to open this because the label acts as the seal for the box. So let that be noted. Um, got my little knife here. Always have a knife. And so we're gonna score this open. Okay. So yeah, the sticker actually closes that to make sure it's not tampered with. So here we go. That's the presentation. You have six chocolates. Smell like dark chocolate. All right, so let me take one out here. Okay. So we have uh, each one's individually wrapped. I mean, in these little like cups, there's actually two. Again, more for presentation. You have a red cup and then a little black cup in that. Okay, little square. There's uh, little flowers on the top and ridges on the side. For again, presentation, decorative. The smell. It's just, it's a straight uh, dark, excuse me, dark chocolate smell. That's it, just smells like dark chocolate. All right, so uh, I'm gonna put this in my mouth, let it sit there for a couple seconds, let it kind of melt my mouth, think about things, jot some stuff down, score it, moving on. And I'll talk a little bit while I'm doing it, but I'm not trying to give a lot of information out because it'll be saved for the actual result, okay? So here we go. The uh, Scorpion Chocolate from Peppermaster. Just kind of let it melt in my mouth a little bit, and then I'll bite into it. Okay, so it's pretty pretty good at melting right now. <laughs> Not to get gross or anything, but all right now I'm gonna bite into it. There is a, a jelly filling, and then from there I'll talk. I'll let you know a little bit about the heat. Just to give you some idea of it, but I'm not going to talk about flavors or anything like that. So here we go.
try not to, it's really interesting. I just don't want to give you any kind of like positive or negative information right at this point in time. <laughs> a lot of quiet in this video. Sorry, I'm writing a lot of stuff down. Okay. Last part I'm trying to think here is how the, um, the center complements or doesn't complement the uh, chocolate. Un momento. I want to get back to you. Um, okay. So, here's what I can tell you. I could talk about heat a little bit. Um... As I was uh, letting it melt my mouth a little bit and, and kind of sucking on it and letting the warmth kind of break it down, there was a little bit of spice in the uh, the chocolate itself. Okay, so the chocolate coating has some spice in it already, perhaps from um, some pepper powder, it could be. Um, but it was nice. It was starting to, to warm me up a little bit, a little bit of a tingle. Um, very very pleasant, really pleasant. I really liked it, and I was thinking, I mean, it started making me think like. Is this going to be the heat level of the whole thing? How is the center going to be different? I knew there'd be a different center. Um, so anyway, then I've been into it, and I enjoy, you know, had that for a little bit. I could say I enjoyed it. <laughs> Both these companies make fantastic products. Products. I know I'm going to like them. It's just a matter of which one I like more. Um, very enjoyable center. Um, and then uh, the heat kicked in. It, it it kicked in significantly more with the center. Okay, so there's heat in the chocolate, but the heat was, it was almost like a, like a preview, uh, it built up just a little bit, so you can kind of get, get ready for that center. This is if you're enjoying it in this fashion. Um, very enjoyable, very nice. Uh, as far as a one to five on the heat overall, this is the only score I'm going to give you in these pre, you know, these test videos. I'm going to give you the overall score, score at the end. But as far as heat, um, one being it's not what heat, you know, what are you talking about? This isn't hot and five being I can't take it. I'm going to give this um, I have to give a solid now. I want to give like a 0.5 on this because it's, it's kind of hard to, to pick one to five is not a good margin, you know, but anyway, one to five. I'm going to give this a a two for heat a two. So um that's both good and bad. It's extremely enjoyable for someone who's not that much into heat. Uh, however, it's a disappointment for uh, someone who's looking for a blast of heat. You know, it goes both ways. It's neutral. Could be good, could be bad, depending on who you are and what you're looking for in your chocolate. So that's all the information we give you in this video. Um, the next couple of days, I'm going to wait and I'll do the uh, the other taste test on these pea bombs, and uh, I'll do it in a similar fashion with this video, talking about it, enjoying it. But not giving you too much information because I want to save it for the uh, the last video where I tell you who I think uh, has the better chocolate, and, uh, and I'll tell you why exactly why and give you the whole journey. I'm, I'm taking a lot of notes down even after I shut the video off. I'm going to write some more notes down, and I have uh, five more tries on this to really make sure that my my uh, opinions are consistent, uh, and as well as the chocolates are consistent with each other, and uh, and that's it. And at the end, we'll see who wins. But um. I could say as far all I can talk about is heat in this video. Uh, the heat's a two, a two out of five. Um, so there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Look forward to the other videos as well as the other uh, judges. Watch their videos, see what they think on these chocolates. So stay tuned. I will see you soon. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.